Well, hello everybody. This is Gloria Harlow Drummond. I want to welcome you all to my channel. You're always welcome to my channel. And today's date is December the 27th, 2015. And um, my heart saddened tonight um, because of, of the, the tornadoes uh, last night um, in Texas and we're still going on. It just so many again. Just so many, so many uh, things going on, you know. And again, it's just more. It's it's more Bible Bible prophecies coming true, you know. And I just feel feel very sad for all the families and. For the for people that it again it just feels lost, you know, and I'm dealing with some things myself, dealing with some things myself, and um, I wasn't going to get on here tonight. I wasn't going to, and I just felt, you know, go ahead, go ahead and get on there anyway. Go ahead and get on there anyway, you know, and uh, but. It goes back. It goes back to if a person, if a person was to die, or were to die to, tonight, where would where would they spend eternity? You know, because we, again, we don't know. We don't know the day or the hour. You know, when we will go. When we will go. We could be here today and be gone tomorrow. We don't know. We don't know. It's so tragic. It's very tragic and it's very sad. It's very, very sad. And, you know, I always try to let the Lord lead me as to what to say. I always try to let the Lord lead. You know, and also I did lose, I had two new subscribers. I lost them. I'm back to 55 again, but that's, that's okay. That's okay. You know, and I'm different than other people. Um, on here. I'm different. But I'm real. I'm real. I'm honest and I'm sincere. You know, and I had said before on my other some of my other videos that I'm going to be more bold. A little, bo a little bit more bold. I have to be. I have to be. Because this is not fun and games. I'm not on here to win a, a popularity contest. I'm on here to win souls to Jesus, plain and simple. And I'm a very, again, I'm a very loving, giving woman that loves people. But God loves people too. And he wants people to accept him into his heart. You know, and my hair, I can't do anything with my hair. It's all the rain and everything I just I can't do anything with it I just let it go <laughs> but uh, getting back to what I was talking about um, I've been burdened today well more than one more than one reason more than one thing and um, so anyway um, I'm going to start this off I think with the Lord's Prayer let's do the Lord's Prayer our Heavenly Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forget our debt, forgive our debtors. But lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. So, um, I do have some verses I want to read. I want to read on here tonight. And uh, I hope I can get through this video without without crying. I hope. Um, I just I love you all, people. I love you all, and just so much evil. 
so much wicked wickedness in this world so much wicked 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 Jesus could come tomorrow he could come he could come anytime it seems like the Lord just said speak from your heart daughter and that's what I'm that's what I'm doing we all go through trials we all we all go through a certain amount of, of things we all do and some days seems a little worse than others some days are a little worse than others and the devil is always there to tempt a person the devil is always there to to try to get you off track to try to get a person off track and people that also people that are focused more on earthly treasures rather than the treasures in heaven because we are we are to not store up treasures on earth our treasures are supposed to be in heaven and even members of a person's own family it seems like they would rather go for the riches here on earth and that's very sad that's very very sad I never I never was materialistic I never was and I I have it a little better I have it a little better now than I did a few years ago and yeah I, I have a few nice things now but I'll, I'll tell you something else this is from my heart I lived in a in a run in a rundown house my little green house it was run down it needed it needed the roof fixed it needed things fixed but you know what I love that little house because it takes me back to my roots I wasn't brought up to have fancy fine finery I wasn't brought up like that I wasn't brought up to have fancy things my dad, my dad didn't make a lot of money. My mom babysat, did things, other things for money, to, for my school clothes and things like that. That's what I say when, when I said before, you know, that I'm just, just a simple woman, more like a country, I would say more like a country girl because I'm, I'm like my dad in a lot of ways, like my dad. And... I just wasn't brought up to have fancy things. My daughter's father, he worked, he made pretty good money. And we ate out a lot. <laughs> you know, um, like I said, I'm just, I'm just more or less speaking from my heart. I, I need to get into the, into the word. But I'm only human, people. I'm only human, and I do my best, the best that I can, on these videos. And to some, you know, they either thumb my video down, videos down with, with no explanation or nothing. Just they just thumb them down. Again, I'm on here. Uh, I kind of go in circles, but the Lord chose me. He chose me to be His servant. He called and He chose me. And I, I keep, I have to keep remembering that, people. I have to keep remembering that. And you, a person will go through trials, persecution. And everything will come at a person to try to take them down. Praise the Lord. Amen. There'll be lots of things thrown at a person to try to get a person down. And sometimes it almost works with me. Sometimes it almost works. And then I say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus.
I will do my Lord's work. I will do my work, Lord's work. Jesus is my Lord, my Savior. I was thinking back today, thinking back today about, um, or I should say it came to me, some things of, of years ago, of years, way back years and years ago. Sometimes that happens to me. I'll be doing something else and something will pop in my mind, you know. You know, good memories, good memories of years and years ago. And uh, anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into the Word. The Lord wants me now to get into the Word. So um, I'm going to do that right now. We're up to 11 minutes. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to get into the Word. Okay, I took a little notes. Okay. All right, we're going to go with, uh, let's see, which would be the first. And we also need to pray for more anointing. For more anointing. Yes. Uh, let's do Psalms. Let's do Psalms 23 real quick. Psalms 23. Psalms 20. My things don't fall off the table. Psalms 23. Psalms 23. 519. 519. 519. If I can find, if I can get to it, Psalms 5. Psalms 23. Come on. I love you people. Psalms 23. My, 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 my. I'm in Psalms. I just can't come to, to the... My pages want to stick, people. Pages want to stick. Oh my, yes. Psalms 23, we're up to 13 minutes. Psalms 23. Okay. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalms 23. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go now to Hebrews 11.3. Hebrews 11.3. Hebrews 11.3 Hebrews What did I say that was? Hebrews. Hebrews 11. 11. 3. <laughs> I'll be alright, people. I'll be okay. Eleven. 
11. Okay, let's, let's start with 11. Let's, let's start with verse 1 of chapter 11 of Hebrews. And we're over 15 minutes. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, let, let's, let's start with chapter 11 again of Hebrews. The first verse. The first verse. Let me get my page ready to turn here. Like I said, I wasn't I wasn't even gonna get on here tonight at all. And something just get on there. Get on there, you know. Okay, what is faith? That's a good way to start out, huh? What is faith? Now faith is a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Faith is the sub substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Things hoped for, for the e faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Okay. Okay. Verse number three. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. All right. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. All right. The existence of God. Verse 5. Verse 5. I love you people. I love you. Jesus loves you. Okay. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation he had his testimony that he, that he pleased God. 6. But without faith it is impossible to please God, to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And I haven't read that in a long time. That put a spark a spark in me. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm going to read this again, okay? I'm going to read it again. Okay. 6. Verse 6. But, faith, but without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And that he is a re rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Really? How many times have I said that on my videos? How many times? The Lord did it again. He did it again. He did it again. Okay. Genesis 45.3 Back to the beginning. Genesis 45.3 45.3 45, 45.3 Genesis 45.3 45 45.3 Genesis 45. Bear with me, people. Okay. <clears throat> 45, verse 3. And Joseph said unto his brethren, I am Joseph. Doth my father yet live? And his brethren could not answer him, for they were troubled at his presence. Okay. I'm going to read verse 4, too. And Joseph said unto his brethren, Come near to me, I pray you. And they came near. And he said, I am Joseph, your brother, whom ye sold into Egypt. Okay. Let's see. 1 John, about 1 John, chapter 1, verse, verse 5. 1 John. 20 minutes we've been on here. 1 John. Okay, we're going to do go to 1 John. 
one job. Matthew, Mark, Luke, St. John. Okay. St. John 1, verses 1 through 5. And I just read this, I just read this not too long ago. See, the Lord, he, he, he knows what will get me, get me up. You know, you know he, he knows. He knows when I am really down in a valley, so to speak, kind of down, down in a valley. Okay. The deity of Jesus Christ. Yes, I know I've read these verses before, but he wants me to read them again. 1 John chapter 1 verse chapter 1 1 John 1 5 chapter 1 verse 5 and I'm going to and you know how I do. You know how I do and I'm going to do it again. <laughs> getting my spark back. Getting my spark back. Thank you Jesus. In the beginning was the word and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word was God. Yes, amen, hallelujah. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that, made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. Was the light of men. Five, and the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. The true light. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. Yes, amen, hallelujah. That was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was, <clears throat> the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came into his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received to them, gave he power to become the sons of God. Even to them, even to them that believe me, on, even to them that believe on his name. 13. Which was born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. 14. And the word was made flesh and, the, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. I'm doing a video full of grace and truth. 15. John bare witness of him and cried, saying, This was he of whom I spoke. He that cometh after me is preferred before me, for he was, be he was before me greater. Greater. Okay. 16. And of his fullness have all we received and grace for grace. 17. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. 18. No man had seen God at any time. The, the only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. And the second, okay, the testimony of John the Baptist. This is a record of John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who art thou? And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then? Art, art thou Elijah? And he saith, I am not. Art thou that prophet? And he answered, No. Then said they unto him, Who art thou, that we may give an answer to them that sent us? What sayest thou of thyself? He said, I am. Okay, 24, and they which were sent were of the Pharisees. And they asked him and said unto him, Why baptize thou thee, thou, thee, thou then? If thou be not the, that Christ, nor Elijah, neither that prophet. John answered them, saying, I baptize with water, but there standeth one among you whom ye know not. 27, he it, he it is who coming after me is preferred before me, whose shoes 
with, with shoes lash I am not worthy to unloose. These things were done in in Beth 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 I can't pronounce the word before beyond Jordan where John was baptizing. All right, twenty nine. The next day of John the next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I, I said, of whom I said, After me cometh the man which is preferred before me, for he was before me. And I knew him not, but that he should be made manifest to Israel. Therefore am I, am I come baptizing with water. 32. And John bare record, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon me. It abode upon me. Okay. Let's see. For 31. And I knew him not, but that he should be made manifest to Israel. Therefore am I come baptizing with water. And John bare record, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon him. And I knew him not, but he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me, Upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, the same is he which baptizes with the Holy Ghost. With the Holy Ghost. And I saw and bare record that this is the Son of God. This is the Son of God. All right, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. We're up to 26 minutes. But I wanted to get into the Word. I wanted to get into the Word. Like I said, I know I know what it's like to have Satan, for Satan to, to, to try to take us down as low as, he can, as low as he can. I know that. I rebuke you, Satan. In the name of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I rebuke you. I rebuke you. I know what it what it is. I know. And and I also know that being a child of God, he will attack me in every possible way that he can, and just like he will all of you. That's why it is it is essential. It is to get into the word, like I've said before, to get into the word, bathe in the word. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. And I'm guilty of not praying without ceasing. And I have to get with the program. I tell everybody else, I need to get with the program too. Yes, I do. So I, I'm going to ask everybody to pray for me as I pray for all of you and all the families in Alabama, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, all those families that lost loved ones and their houses were destroyed, all the damage. I asked everybody to, to pray. Pray for them. Just pray for them. And no, I'm not going to sing tonight. I, I don't feel up to singing tonight. I just, like I say, I, I, I'm deeply burdened, deeply saddened, deeply burdened. And I do love Jesus. And I know Jesus is with me. So let's do the Lord's Prayer one more time. Then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close for tonight. Okay? Because like I said, I, I don't, I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry. So, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. But lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. Again, I want to welcome you all to my channel. You're always welcome to my channel. Please feel free to leave me comments. And we need to uplift, uplift each other, one another. Love one another. With faults, flaws, and all, we love one another. And do unto others as we would have them do unto you, unto us, not the way they do unto us. Treat others as we would want to be treated. Okay? So, I love you all. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy, the Holy Ghost. Good night. I love you all. Come back and see me. Okay.